Hi everyone! Since my last video, I've made some changes to my workspace. I moved my large monitor to the left of my main one and changed its orientation to vertical. I felt that I wasn't utilizing that monitor efficiently before, so I decided to experiment with this setup. As always, I start my morning by checking emails and messages on Slack. My manager asked a few questions regarding the integration of our project with the Google Geocoding API, so I'll respond to them later. Besides, I noticed a message about an error in our project. Slack notifies me of any errors that occur during project work. With the integration of Sentry, I can quickly understand the context of the error and react to it as soon as possible. For those who don't know, Sentry is a tool for error tracking in software. It allows developers to detect, log and analyze errors that occur in their programs. When a program encounters an error during execution, Sentry automatically captures and sends relevant data to the developer. Well, I looked into the issue and it turned out to be not a serious one. So we can put it aside for now. Today's task is once again related to DevOps. I need to migrate another service of my project to AWS Lambda. However, this project uses asynchronous salary tasks. AWS Lambda does not support salary, so I need to make each asynchronous task work as a separate Lambda function. I work as a backend developer, and a year ago DevOps tasks seemed to me very challenging. But now I have experience in this area and find it quite interesting. It's essential to sometimes pause and look back at yourself to understand what you have already achieved. After three almost uninterrupted hours of work, I felt tired and decided to take a lunch break. I divided my break into two parts, reading and, well, lunch. Throughout the day, I read a few books, one technical and one fictional. During my work break, I'm reading a book about work. It's a classic of programming literature, Steve McConnell's Code Complete. I've read it about three years ago, but this time I feel like I can reinterpret what's written from the perspective of my experience and apply this knowledge in my future work. The second part of my break is dedicated to watching my favorite TV series, because it's essential to give the brain some rest and relax for a while. Feeling refreshed a bit, I continued working on my significant task. Although I've already chosen an approach to solve it, I'm curious to see what else ChatGPT can suggest. He recommended using step functions to solve my problem, but I've already tried it in the past and it didn't meet our project's requirements. I spent about three hours writing and testing the settings for the new infrastructure. During testing, I found several issues that I could only fix by updating about a dozen libraries. After finishing the configuration, I hit it to my favorite place, the waterfront. As usual, I went there for a run. The weather was typical, overcast but pleasant at the same time. Also, I noticed that local runners were friendly today. On the way home, I realized that I accidentally added configurations for creating a database in S3 bucket. In my case, it wasn't necessary, since the project has been around for a while, and we don't need to create the services again. So, the first thing I did was delete this part of the configuration. After some physical activity, I felt energized, so I continued working on my personal financial app. 
since the last time there were some bugs left that blocked the functionality of the expense list, therefore I had a bug fixing session planned for the evening. In addition to that, after updating macOS, my iOS device simulator stopped working, so another unexpected task was added to my to-do list. Few unsuccessful attempts and I managed to fix the functionality of this component and even update the styles. Now it looks pretty much similar to my other carousel components. I think I've done enough work for today. I completed an important task at my main job and fixed some pesky bugs in my app. So. I'll continue moving forward, step by step. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.